Ow! That's not, no, fuck, that's not what I wanted. This is so inconvenient for me. Yeah, that's fine, okay. <sighs> A lot of things have gone wrong today. First of all, the camera's definitely tilted. Second of all, I have a camera, like I have an actual, like a real camera that I was gonna record this with. <laughs> But I set it up and the battery was dead, so we're doing it on my iPhone XS Max and using my old iPhone to read the content. So everything is going fine. We're doing great. It's a great first video. If I were to wait until everything was right, I would never make a video. All right, hi everybody. My name is Michaela. Um, I don't YouTube, but now I do, and that's the best. That's the best introduction I can give. I've been putting this off for a while, but. I feel as though it's time to just, you know, go through with it and make it happen. Today, we're doing a Tinder Bio Tuesday themed video, which if you follow my She Rates Dogs account on Twitter, it's also on Instagram. And then you know, I kind of just like shit on the male gender a lot because they're, well, violent, scary, um, mean sometimes. Just kidding. But we don't have to include that. I'm just being a sexist pig, but that's fine. So since this is my first video, I feel like I should kind of like introduce stuff a little bit before I get into it. I don't know. I have been doing research all week about fucking YouTubers and shit like that. What I, what I mean by research is like I've been asking my friends what YouTubers to watch in order to like get ideas and stuff like that. And I wrote down, I wrote down some tips to remember okay one thing that i re learned and found out is that not every video title is in all caps it's apparently not required that's just something people do but apparently you can be a youtuber without doing that now i know that you louder than you would probably be in public <laughs> yeah that's pretty obvious like everyone's just really loud i can do that though eye contact with camera i wasn't Am I doing it? I wasn't sure if I was gonna look at me where I can see me or the camera, but they like are staring deep into your soul. So I'm gonna try to do that. Um, I might get used to it over time, but I probably will look at me because I'm a narcissist. Standards not actually that high. That's something I wrote down. I don't know why I, why I said that, but I feel like I've just had a lot, <laughs> a lot of stress about starting a YouTube channel, but um, when I watched some of the videos that just have like tons of views, I was like, oh shit, the standards aren't actually that high. I'm gonna be fine. So yeah, no, I, I watched a lot of YouTubers. A lot of them were really funny and great. And I was like, this is more entertaining than television. I get it. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm obviously not gonna like talk shit about anybody though because humor is subjective. I'm only gonna make fun of people who are actually like, you know, like shitty humans. I don't really get the whole making fun of people who are like normal, decent humans just because they don't have the exact same sense of humor as you. But those are like some of my, some of my um, notes to myself about how to start a YouTube channel. Now that we've done that, like let's just, let's just get right on into fucking Tinder Bio Tuesday, everybody. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my mind. Ew! Sorry, I just saw photos of my ex on here. <coughs> All right, first Tinder Bio Tuesday. Woohoo! The person who sent me this crossed out their name, which was very nice. I appreciate that, so I don't have to do it myself. I'm not going to beat it around the bush. I'm off to prison for I don't know how long, and I'm looking for one last proper good fuck before I go on my travels. I'm not a cunt. And I will respect ya, but I'm looking for a real naughty woman who will fuck all day and all night. I hate the way he's spelling everything in this, it's so bad. Obviously stopping for food and drink breaks, you know, lol. I do apologize in advance for being so straight to the point, but I can't exactly commit to a relationship for reason above. I will consider a pen pal while I'm away. I love how he's acting like you getting to be a convict's pen pal is like, he'll consider it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna give that one like a, a negative... 11 out of 10. Ben, 19. Handsome and super confident. Is that the Superman emoji and then a guy in a tuxedo emoji? Is he saying he's like Batman? <laughs> Already ripped into hand, so don't care if you want me. I can't have everything. Went to a rich private school and played first rugby and first cricket. Got a 98 star and I studied law at McGuire. Too good to be true? Ha, don't I know it. Oh my god, I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. I don't know where to begin with this. Went to a rich private school and played first rugby and first cricket. That's not, that's not appealing. I'm trying to picture the girl who will be like, yeah, 
I don't think she, I don't think that girl would be on Tinder. You know what I mean? That one's gonna be a negative 12 out of 10 because it really bothered me a little bit more. Like if I saw that guy in public, I think I'd be more wanting to slap him based on the fact that he needs to be taken down a few notches. Jackson 22, I'm ugly and I know it. Meme Lord, I was arrested because I broke the no nut November law. PS4 man, then he says his at. Where's my Pam Beasley at? Come on, send me a message. I don't bite unless provoked. Ah, fuck, he's a cancer. I'm a cancer. Ugh. This guy's not like terrible. This is the kind of thing where I would post and a bunch of girls would be like, oh my God, no, he sounds great. And I'd be like, okay, just because he's not like, like because he has an ounce of a sense of humor, it doesn't mean you should like think he's the best guy ever. That always happens. He just says something that's like a joke and then I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this one is mostly kind of just like funny, but also not funny in a way where I'm like, he's a comedic genius. I get eight out of 10. I don't care that much. He can do his thing, whatever. Find your Pam Beasley. Oh my God. Brayden23, his picture is him proposing to a girl with like a bunch of roses on the floor. Fuck. Oh, it's so depressing. Girl, if you see this guy, his name is Brayden. Don't believe what his telling you because I'm his wife and I just found out his in here and trying to lie to girls about him. See, you can search him up and my name is Sogol. You can search me up too. Don't believe whatever is telling you because he's not single and I'm living with him literally. Oh my God, I hate that so much. Oh, I can't like judge this girl though because I did something very similar when I found out my ex-boyfriend had a Tinder while we were together. I changed his bio to something like super lazy <laughs> All I do is smoke weed and work at Starbucks. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what I changed it to. It wasn't like, girl, don't like, I pretended that I was him, but just like really unappealing. I more just wanted to hurt his feelings, I think. I give this guy a negative 13 out of 10. I really feel like this girl needs to dump him though. Oh, I hate that so much. Sammy 28, Air Force Community College. Is there an Air Force Community College? I know there's the Air Force, but I feel like they don't, I don't know. Oh God, sorry, I don't know why. I just read some of it in my head to like kind of prepare myself a little bit because sometimes they're too sexual and I don't actually want to do them. It's just bad. Full transparency, so here it goes. Blowing smoke is not attractive, just FYI. I have two hedgehogs, okay, not, not terrible, that part. Most likely swipe right because I like your boobs. Are white guys out of date or something? No drama, please and thank you. I like curves, but let's not go overboard. I combat vet, so I got a fucked up sense of humor. Criminal justice major. I hate it when people say they have a fucked up sense of humor when they're just shitty and then they think that people just don't get them. Oh my God, there are so many comics in LA that I'll go to a show and they'll be like, Oh, sorry, I forgot it's 2019, so I can't use that offensive slur anymore. That's why no one's laughing. And it's like, no, you're just not funny. You used to use like shocking methods to get a laugh and now that doesn't work anymore. So you are just gonna go on about how people are sensitive and don't get you and you have a fucked up sense of humor because you're so fucking deep. <laughs> okay, which parts did we hate the most? Most likely swiped right because I like your boobs. We didn't like that. Are white guys out of date or something? I like curves, but let's not go over it. Those three are definitely the worst. Blowing smoke is not attractive, just FYI. I, I can understand not being attracted to certain things, but like say I am not looking for somebody who smokes the weed. Don't say this isn't attractive because then you're just such a narcissist. You really think that like whatever you don't like is what everybody doesn't like. And it's just so much better to just be like, hi, here's what, I don't like. Instead of acting like you're the one who has the final say on what's attractive in people. Am I looking at the camera enough? Comment in the comments about what I need to do better to be a better YouTuber. But in a nice way, like don't, you know what I mean? Like don't hurt my feelings too much, but like constructive criticism in a non-douchey way. I give this guy a negative 12 out of 10. I don't like him. It's so weird that he said our white guy's on a date or something. Is he blaming the reason no one's matching with him on the fact that he's white, buddy? Steven, 24. Hey you, read. Very essence of romance is uncertainty and unfamiliarity. Hmm. Moderate point. And to love requires vulnerability. So if you're not willing to be burned, don't play with fire. All right, a little extra for Tinder bio. I don't play games, so let's just be real. If you want it serious, let's be serious. If you're just looking for fun, let's have fun. It's not terrible so far. Don't swipe right if you're just looking for attention. That immaturity is for your generic wannabe Kim K Instagram. 
Yeah, we don't like, we don't like that. Okay, I'm starting to see why I put this guy in here. Just let people do what makes them happy. Last sentence. If I speak in parcel tongue, will you moan for me like Myrtle? <laughs> yeah, that's why I put this in here. Okay, I remember now. I don't want to get into that. I don't like that. Negative 12 out of 10. Okay, Henry, 38. I want to scare you off. I'm missing two front teeth. I smoke weed. I drink when I want to. Who cares? We all will die. So fuck your rules. If you want to have fun and enjoy life, even while working, hit me up. Otherwise, fuck off. Internet shit. <laughs> I'm always keep it a hundred, not for the faint of heart. Why does he just put internet shit? In? That's kind of me. I want to scare you off. I'm missing two front teeth. I smoke weed. It's just like word vomit. He's 38 years old. He's a he's an adult. If you want to have fun and enjoy life even while working, everybody's working. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this guy. Okay, you know how sometimes there's a bio and it's kind of funny because it's horrible, but you don't know if they're actually funny and it was intentional or if they're just like that much of like a douchebag or like a crazy person that they were like being very serious about it. So you never know. That's why I don't like put their faces in here because it's, well, I, lots of reasons I don't put their faces in here, but that's one of them. It's like, I don't want to give anyone too much positive or too much negative attention and then they turn out to be like just this toxic fuck. Negative like seven out of 10, but only because I don't know for sure. And I like to believe the best in people. Maybe he's just kind of funny. You know what I mean? Probably not though. Nick, 20, works at Fuck Skull. All right. I'm a huge testosterone testosterone filled ironclad man of steel looking to fuck some thoughts a few thousand times before I go to bed. I eat ass more than a bear on a donkey farm and my IQ is 12. Soy and mercy are for the weak. What? Soy and mercy are for the weak? My dick is the size of battle axe. I call him the big iron. I never masturbate as that is a dishonor and fills you with the not good lady stuff. Praise Odin, Jim, fuck hoes. I can lift more than the weight of your Prius and future cuck boy at once. I love that bio so much. I wouldn't swipe right. Like, I'll be honest. Like, I wouldn't, even if I think a bio's like really funny, I would not swipe right. I mean, I don't have dating apps, so I physically can't, and I'm banned from Tinder. Um, oh my god, that was so funny. See, this is another one where I feel like he's just like joking and like might actually be like a funny person. I don't know. But if I were like a guy and I was funny, I still wouldn't use words like hoes and thoughts, I don't think. Comment down below if you think that he's just funny. I'm not gonna rate him because I don't know. Gavin, 22, works at Pipe Lair. Uh, fuck yeah. 21 years old, okay. I just said Gavin, 22, he's 22. First sentence, 21 years old. Oh, we're gonna move past that. Six foot tall alpha male with a burning desire to put you in your place as a woman. Yes, sexually. What, the fuck? what else would be burning? An actual fire? Put you in the fucking oven like you know, the kitchen wench that you are? Yes, actually, you've never met a man like me and it's probably in your best interest to keep it that way. Okay, yeah, you're right. No one should match with you. I should change my name to Chad at this point because why TF not? If you think you are an eight, you're actually a five. If you think you're a 10, you're probably only an eight. Just like my eggplant. Which is surely good enough for both of us. Non-dimes need not apply. Lower your standards because this ain't it, sweetie. I like it, yeah. Another crazy person on Tinder. This is why no one should use this fucking app. Dylan21, fuck all this intro bullshit. We are all fucking grown ups here. For God's sake, though, what the hell happened? What happened to going out and meeting people? Oh, that's right, this happened, and I've gotten sucked right into it, too. Now I'm a fucking hypocrite. Fuck! You wanna know why I'm here, huh? Swipe right and take a step into this fuckery I call a mind. If not, make room for, for the adventurous ones. Thank you. Forever, yours truly, with love. Dylan, it's a full name. This is one that I definitely think is, I think he's serious. I don't want to deal with any more feedback on that. That one really spoke for itself. I'm getting lazy. Ty 38, I'm 37 years old. Again, they have their age and then it's not the age that they put in their first sentence. I might just be my mother's child, but in all reality, I'm everybody's child. Nobody raised me. I was raised in this society. Okay, yeah, I feel that. I've been there, yeah. I don't see myself being special. I just see myself having more responsibilities than the next man. People look to me to do things for them, to have answers. It's the game of life. Do I win or do I lose? One day they're gonna shut the game down. I gotta have as much fun and go around the board as many times as I can before it's my turn to leave. 
That's some good shit, dude. Oh yeah, I like this one. First of all, I don't think I'm gonna include his photo in it because it makes me uncomfortable, but it's just like zoomed in on the belly button with a little happy trail and a couple abdominal muscles. Josh, 21. I'm a good guy just looking for the right girl, period. My horse died, period. I like to get drunk and go down the water slide. I like to lift weight to pick you up to give you to Jesus. I love my dog. I can squat 225. I can bench 215. I am very strong and I love pets if I didn't say that. And I, period. Wish in this world everyone was loyal like me. I can relate to that. Hit me up and added me. Time a ticking LMAO. This guy's on drugs. I don't have the knowledge of drugs to know which one it is. Do you know what I mean? You know when you're like, that person's on something, but I don't know which drugs cause what things to create this kind of a human. I like this bio. I think it's interesting that he threw in his horse dying. See, this is the kind of thing where it's like, if it were me and I was making a video like with a dating app of my own, I would probably swipe right on this guy to see how he talks. He's got so many points for this video. I'm gonna give him so many points. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I, I'm gonna work on not being so shitty at this. You know, like make myself look cute for the next one. Might make my camera like straight. Might not have like part of my bed on the side awkwardly. So what I'm saying is things will improve. Subscribe to my fucking channel. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Twitter, I'm Michaela Oakla. And on Instagram, I'm Michaela Oakland. And then I also have She Rates Dogs on Instagram and Twitter. If you follow one, follow the other because I post different content on every platform because you know, like different social medias take better to like different sizes of like, you know, conversations. If you want to submit something to She Raves Dogs, just DM it to me, don't email it to me. I'll not use it because that's for business and important shit. And only send in stuff that happened to you or stuff you find by yourself. I don't want to get shit on because I share a conversation that someone else posted and then a random person DMs to me without permission. I'm not fuck Jerry. I'm an original bitch and I don't want to be sucked into that shit, okay? This is a long outro. I want you to subs subscribe to me, please. Smash like, comment about things that I can improve in a nice way. And uh, follow me on social media. I don't know, fucking yeah, do that.